most of, most of the time in the first half you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. They'll run again with Lynch, and he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll be a loss of one, and that's going to make it third down and 10. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage will be found. Throwing his car on third down. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. He went backwards five yards there on third down to bring up fourth. Here's Marquette King now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. This is taken at the 15. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And they had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion in the field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try and cut down the length of the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Garrett Selleck, the tight end, was the target. And it's second down. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. They'll give to Hyde. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. midfield stripe the ball still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run so now a little soul searching on fourth down Kyle Shanahan's made the decision they're going on fourth down they'll run with a fullback use check and he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46 Four yards on the pickup, and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Handoff comes to Hyde. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Back now in the East Bay. It's 49er football here. They've got the lead as well as we get set to start the fourth and final quarter. Switch it up here and look to throw. They go screen pass to Hyde. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Here's Hoyer. Complete to the tight end, Kittle, over the middle of the field. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. 
And eventually stopped just shy of the goal line right around the two. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions, they are rolling. So feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Khalil Mack coming in hard on the blitz. He gets him down for a loss of four. They'll set up to throw. Flushed out right. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Pierre Garçon, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers add on to their lead. And the lead is up to 18 now. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he's got Cooper on the out route. That's complete. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks at the 38-yard line. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. On first down, Carr. And it's hauled in by Jared Cook. 23 yards on the play. This game just keeps evolving and changing, doesn't it? You got a tight end who can move around a lot. Not necessarily using a big body on him. Sometimes you take a corner, a better cover guy, and put him on him and try and take him out of the game as we've seen in this one. You're exactly right. They've taken him out of the game. That was just his first catch. Big reason they're losing right now. And incomplete there, almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Back to the air on second down. It's Carr. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now, Carr again. And incomplete on the deep ball. Got to be wary of throwing an interception here because the defense knows they're going to get tested deep. That's why they're going to put a couple of extra guys back there to try and prevent that. Yeah, late in the fourth quarter here, trying to preserve the lead. Carl right. try it again on second down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Eli Harold. And a great return as he gets this all the way down close to the 30-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And they'll start this drive with very good field position. Here we go now. That one looks like he'll throw here. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. All right, here we go. Now Hoyer. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Detroit! Detroit! Hurry up, hit it up! Hoyer. And a tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. 
Now, the secondary has really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away, turns into a nice play. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. They look to throw. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Marquise Goodwin from 19 yards away. And the 49ers add six to their lead. And they open the lead up now to 25 points. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to play, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives them a new set of downs. First down to the left side and complete for Amari Cooper. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. Now Carr throwing on second down. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the former yard line. defensively because it's not a bad throw but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football really really well done decent offense just better defense I think you're right back to throw now on second and ten trying to lay one up deep he's got it hit the 15 and now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. All right, here we go. Back to throw here. Dancing to his left. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown, and the blowout continues. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone.
Well, 